Hi YouTube, it's time again for another Blackwing Volumes unboxing video. look forward to these black wings when they come in. I tell you, you can never have enough in your collection. I think these are the best pencils on the market for graphite quality. Lots of them have really fantastic, unique looks to them. So every time one of these comes in, I am so anxious to see what it looks like. And of course, I like to do it with you. So let's go tear into this thing. Uh, the usual tape and see what we got okay spin this back a little bit here so I can leave it open all right get it nice and centered in the screen yeah yeah that's a fantastical all right well we got some kind of a card in here and it's in a plastic Thing. Oh, it's kind of sticking out a little bit, but that's okay. Illustrated by Samantha Dion Baker is what it says on the back. And it says, Mars is there, waiting to be reached, Buzz Aldrin. All right. I got a feeling this has to do with the recent um, Mars landing thing that's... I've heard on the news. I haven't really paid much attention to that, but I'm sure we're going to have a write-up in here. But before we read that write-up, let's take a look at the pencil itself. And here we go. It's volume number four. Number four. I wonder if Mars is the fourth planet, and that's where the number four comes from. That's a guess. That's just a guess. I haven't read anything on this yet. I like to be surprised. So let's take a real close look at the labeling. The finish is sand. So I guess it's sand color. It says the ferrule is bronze. Yep. And we'll look at that more closely when I open the box. And uh, let's see. Let's get the blur factor out of there again. The eraser is cream. The imprint is cream. There's a little sample of it. And the graphite is... They don't list it on here. Well, we'll find out. But this is the one where your little time capsule, you might say, your little, uh, what do you call it? Um, those who save stuff for a long period of time. Collector, collector, that's right. This is your collector's tube. You don't really want to use this pencil. This is the one you put aside as a collector's item and then... Uh, Sometime in the distant future, you know, you can look back at it and go, check out my million dollar pencil. Priceless. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, no stickers. I'm bummed. I wish they'd put stickers in here, you know. For each one of these, it'd be so cool. You can stick them on your printer and stuff. I did suggest it, but, you know, just kind of get get these companies to move on some of this stuff. So let's take a close look at this particular black wing here. There's the actual box. It says it has, of course, 12 pencils in it. Shows a picture of it right there. And... Here is the back where we get to read all the goodies. In 2020, NASA will send a rover to Mars to search for evidence of ancient Martian life while testing technologies for future human expeditions. While the engineering designs for the rover and its various instruments are finalized in CAD, its revolutionary robotic arm and zoom-enabled cameras, the first of their kind to be sent to another planet, were first conceptualized in drawings by the team at Motive Space Systems using black wing pencils. Wow, that's interesting. Earlier this year, Motiv delivered their assemblies based on these drawings to begin integration onto the rover. In 2020, they will join the Wright brothers' wrapping paper sketches and Katherine Johnson's calculations as examples of the pencil's ability to help us reach the sky, space, and beyond. The Blackwing 4 is a tribute to Mars and the upcoming rover mission. 
It features a rust color lacquer and sand textured finish, inspired by the surface of the fourth planet. Ah, got it right, fourth planet. Yeah, good guess, Rickster. It also features our first ever dune bronze ferrule, a cream imprint and eraser, and our soft graphite. Oh, my favorite, soft graphite. Well, actually, balanced is my favorite, but soft, I love soft. Looks like the original. All right, the original black one, that is. All right, so let's just open this puppy up. Get it straight. All right, there we go. And the usual real smooth box. Two thumb areas that you can open it up in. And off goes the little vellum sheet here where it shows you volume four. And then it shows you this planetary thingy thing here. It says, uh, Mercury, the 2004 messenger, uh, the moon was the 19, okay, when we actually reached these particular planets, I guess, uh, 1969 was the Apollo 11, so a lot of people seem to not believe that that happened, I, of course, am not one of those, uh, Earth orbit, 1961 Mercury, and 1990 Hubble, did the Earth orbit thingy. Uh, we have 1975 Viking. Uh, let's see, 2011 Curiosity. And now we're going to have the 2020 Mars 2020. I guess that's what they're going to call it. Mars 2020. Then you have Jupiter in 1972 was the Pioneer. And then you had Saturn 1997 was the Cassini uh, Huygens. And then... Uranus, not mine, but yours, and beyond, 1977, Voyager, Voyager, V'ger, remember Star Trek, V'ger. V-O-I-A-G-E-R, Voyager. And then Neptune sits there all by itself with his pitchfork, sitting on the rock above the waters, lonely, wondering why nothing has ever gone out there to visit it. Hmm. Someday, Neptune. Just hold on to that rock. Don't fall off. All right. And there we go. Now that is a pretty cool look. Uh, it's got, and it's not a smooth feel to it. It actually has a sand feel to it. I don't know if that's intentional, but yeah. You know, that is interesting, and I don't know if any most people would catch that, but let's see, is that the same as all of these? Sure enough, yeah. It's got this, just this really, uh, this one really shows up. If you look real close, it's got these little speckle thingies in here, and you can feel it, because it, it, it's raised, raised above the... The green of the pencil here, the paint of the pencil and everything. It's kind of a slight rough. It's not sandpaper rough. It's very comfortable, but it's just you could feel it. How clever is that? That is supposed to be like the surface of Mars, you know, the sandy surface of Mars. That That is smart. That is smart design. I love it. I love it. That is clever. That's a talking point. You can share that with people. Say, check that out. Now, that's supposed to be like the Mars lunar surface there, you know. Did I just say lunar? Why did I say lunar? The Mars surface. Okay. Um, anyway, and here's that bronze ferrule. They said it's the first time they've used that. It is a pretty cool looking bronze. Awesome. And there's your cream eraser right there. And, of course, as usual, you know, the patent, a little pull-out eraser thing. You can adjust it and slide it back in, and you can get extras. There's your cream-colored paint job, Palomino Blackwing Number Four, Fourth Planet Mars. Yeah, that is slicker than. Well, we won't go there. So you get 12 of these little puppies, and of course I'm going to take one. And add it to my collection of my bunch of pencils after I sharpen and write with it just a little bit for you guys. Because I know that you often say, hey, 
We want you to write with it, dude. All right, all right, gotcha. So let me just sharpen it first and see how the tip comes out. There you go. And there's a close-up. For all you close-up junkies out there, looks like I got me a rip right here. My sharpener really dug into that puppy. Wow. Now this is that uh, cow cedar, um, incense cedar. It's really good. It has a nice little cedar smell to it. That's a shame, man. That's a shame. But it's, I could still use this. Yeah, it's still, still intact. Can't tell whether it was a defect in the wood itself or if it was just a sharpener kind of got a little bit aggressive. I don't know. It is, and notice how long this point is. This is super long point sharpener here that I used. All right. So grabbing some paper, let's zoom up here and let me give it the old Black Wing Volume 4 writing test. So this is the black, oh, smooth, dark, Black Wing Volume. Number four, this is an awesome writing pencil. And I know someone's gonna go, hey, you can draw with these too. Yes, yes, this is true, sorry, but I use drawing pencils for drawing and I use my black wings for writing that's just me. It's a personal thing. Don't you worry about it. But yes, this is great for writing and I'll write and drawing. Heck, they designed that uh, Mars thing you use in these pencils, so I can't argue with that. But there you go. And very smooth. It's the softest graphite they offer in the black wings so it's the same as the black wing blacks the first black wing that was uh, uh, produced by Cal Cedar in the Palomino line yeah, that's pretty neat alright so it writes really really wonderfully of course I really love it and it will join my wonderful collection of pencils, including previous Black Wings. Yes. Nice. Well, there you go, folks. That's the unboxing of the Black Wings Palomino Volume Number 4. For Mars. Hope you like this unboxing review. Short and sweet. So please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.